Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of uh, Kaizen Spotlight, where we have these very insightful conversations with Kaizen champions. And it's my absolute pleasure to welcome um, Phyllis uh, today. Phyllis Ma'am is the CEO of the Kenya Association of Manufacturers. And let me tell you, it takes a lot of, uh, lot of guts, uh, a lot of intelligence uh, to not only uh, to do advocacy for uh, manufacturers, but to keep them together, to keep them aligned and uh, keep the association uh, going. It's an absolute pleasure to have you on the conversation, uh, Phyllis San. And uh, let me uh, quickly uh, introduce her formally. Um, pardon me if I leave out some aspects of your introduction. She is a uh, law professional. She's a lawyer of a profession. She is registered in, uh, with the, the Kenyan High Court. She's also um, done her uh, management studies in sustainable management. And uh, she's received a lot of awards for being uh, Africa's, uh, you know, emerging uh, leaders under 40, among the top 100 emerging leaders under the, the, the age of 40. And at a very young age, she took on the mantle and responsibility of being the CEO of uh, the Kenya Association of Manufacturers. And under her stewardship, uh, CAM has gone places and continues to uh, be a very responsive and a very responsible uh, association for members. Thank you very much, ma'am. And uh, good evening. Good evening, Jayan. Thank you for having me. Absolute pleasure. So let me get rolling. Our Kaizen Spotlight are a short conversations of about 10, 12 minutes because, you know, people's patience, you know, is very limited nowadays. And the first question I would like to shoot is, um, you have been... Uh, you know, uh, witness to Kaizen, not only uh, during your CAM days, but also in your, in your previous engagements, you have seen the, the impact of operational excellence Kaizen. So what about Kaizen sort of uh, really uh, attracts you at a very personal level first? Um, thanks, Jan. For me, at a very personal level, what attracts me the most about Kaizen is its ability to get people to work together and in a very proactive manner for incremental change and improvement within an organization. So the ability of Kaizen to bring people together, to motivate teams, to give them a common purpose and a goal is something that really motivates me about Kaizen. And in the process, what happens is that you're able to improve efficiency both at an organizational and a personal level. Yeah, absolutely. And, um, you know, the global um, challenges today are um, of a different kind, you know, of course, uh, each country has been facing its own economic challenges, but this COVID has brought another dimension, another layer of uh, challenge. Uh, what, according to you, are some of the challenges that the Kenyan manufacturers specifically are facing, which can be addressed through adoption of um, Kaizen or operational excellence? Um, Kenyan manufacturers, a key challenge that they are facing is their ability to remain competitive and the ability to minimize waste uh, within their own production processes and increase productivity. So because of Kaizen, Kaizen can assist them to be able to address some of these issues. Uh, if you look at the issue of improved efficiency, there is need for manufacturers locally to be able to improve their efficiency so that they are able to produce and compete even much better. There is also the need to have better productivity. Uh, and improve employee satisfaction and engagement so that employees can really be very connected and passionate about the work that they are doing. The other thing is uh, waste reduction. Uh, if you look at the world we are living in today, the issue of waste is something that is a conversation everywhere. And businesses are constantly looking at how to improve their processes and reduce waste. And Kaizen gives uh, manufacturers the opportunity uh, to be able to reduce waste. And uh, at the end of the day, we are working in organizations where there are people. So the human relationship management and how we manage our people is going to be the competitive edge and advantage that we have as organizations. So I see Kaizen as coming in to assist organizations in managing their teams, to assist in training within the organization and the involvement of employees uh, in contribution to the organization. And the entire process of how we manage our supply chain COVID has also thrown a new spanner in the yeah. works around supply chains. Um, so Kaizen also plays a very important role for value stream mapping, supply involvement, and just looking at broadly how we manage supply chains uh, 
as a manufacturing sector. The last one I'll think of is maybe the standardization of work, the ability of Kaizen to be able to create that order predictability standardization uh, within the workplace. And all these things put together basically improve the competitiveness of industry by building efficiency, productivity, employee engagement and satisfaction. Perfect. Uh, thank you very much. And I think uh, uh, one of the key things um, I would agree, um, I mean, with one very important aspect of Kaizen, it, it, it sort of unleashes the potential of uh, mm. your own people. Because, you know, many That's times uh, the organizational structure and the dynamics are sort of... Uh, uh, puts a cap on the potential, human potential. Mm. And uh, this uh, creates a platform where people can find, you know, improvement opportunities in the, in the work they do. Because nobody mm. understands the challenges better than the people who do the work. And, uh, and, and those people have also the solutions for their problems. Mm. It's, That's it's just that there is no, there's no platform for platform. it to be. Yeah. Now, yeah, it harnesses you know, that. Correct. It harnesses the human, you know, uh, ingenuity. Abilities. And, uh, yeah. yeah. So um, CAM has always been, uh, uh, you know, I keep uh, mentioning that uh, we have an opportunity to interface with many association of manufacturers across uh, the African continent. And I have always held CAM at a very high pedestal because you're very, uh, very professional in your approach um, and very, um, you know, insightful in the the way you people pick programs and drive programs and energy efficiency, Kaizen, there are uh, environmental, you know, uh, aspects. There are many, many uh, programs that you bring and um, offer to uh, your members, uh, manufacturers. Uh, what do you think is the impediment? Some of the challenges when, although you, you promote this, you think of these wonderful things and you bring it to them, uh, why is adoption still sometimes a challenge, you know, both with the big boys and in the SME? Um, Kaizen is about change. And uh, one of the biggest impediments to implementing Kaizen is the willingness and ability and readiness of people to change and yeah. organizations to change. Sometimes people are more stuck in what they do. It's also sometimes difficult to implement in the existing systems because companies have a set way of doing things and how they've done things for many years. So that is also one of the issues. Uh, sometimes the cost implementation, especially if you look at SMEs, they seem to have more challenges and they feel like sometimes it might be more expensive. Uh, but if you look at it in the long term, maybe not. And uh, also the training need, uh, sometimes the need to train people and yeah. uh, the enthusiasm sometimes also declines over time the more you implement. So keeping that fire burning is also one of the challenges when you're implementing. Absolutely. And I was talking to one of the Deming uh, Award winning companies this afternoon, just a couple of hours ago. And uh, mm -hmm. this gentleman who's the vice president there, he's an ex Toyota employee. And he says that um, we have to keep doing Kaizen on Kaizen. That means mm -hmm. <laughs> there is no end to improvement because mm -hmm. he reminded me that there is nothing called a perfect process or a perfect human being or a perfect company. There is only yes. Kaizen. There is only continual improvement as an opportunity. No perfection. Yes. Only what mother nature probably creates is perfect. Mm. Um, mm. That takes me to uh, talking of mother nature. There is uh, a huge um, challenge and a dialogue around environment, uh, sustaining our environment, uh, manufacturers to become more sustainable, you know, adopting sustainable technologies. Uh, yes. what, what do you think is the link, ma'am, between a continuous improvement, uh, eliminating waste, and this entire dialogue on environment? Um, Kaizen, I think, uh, and environment are very interlinked because Kaizen is, really looks at how we can decrease waste, how we can eliminate our production, improve quality in the process. So there's a big opportunity to leverage on Kaizen to achieve better environmental results and more quickly. So there's a lot around supporting more efficient systems that can reduce impacts to environment, creating environmental management systems, and also assisting to institutionalize some of those practices uh, within business. So the lean method is actually quite key in improving sustainability of the environment and businesses generally. Absolutely, and, and very well said. And, and you know, there is, um, when you do Kaizen, you not only impact your own personal balance sheet, the enterprise balance sheet, but mm -hmm. uh, it is also good for the balance sheet of the globe, you know? Yes, yeah. Be because 
it's not just about cutting waste in your own uh, you know in your own factory and saving some money but we don't have the right to waste resources you know it's uh, mm-hmm. it, it has a global impact and uh, we can't we have to leave something behind for our next generation and and that's extremely important so uh, yes. that takes me uh, to my last question and um, you know i have al- always uh, noticed that cam as a very successful organization is led by great leaders and it's very heartening to know that some of the best leaders have always been ladies women including you and uh, the the previous ceo mm-hmm. also a very powerful uh, you know personality and um, and i think all uh, um, women believe that charity begins at home and um, i see that uh, as the ceo of uh, cam uh, while you have understood and appreciated the power of kaizen you have uh, been the torch bearer of uh, saying that hey let us uh, adopt this at home you know because you are a team of 50 60 people and uh, you know you have to practice what you preach and at the kaizen institute we also believe the same thing in our own offices around the world we practice and live the kaizen way every day and uh, because if you don't do it yourself you n- neither get it nor do you have the moral right to pra- you know sort of preach it so um, i know that you have adopted it you've just embarking on the journey um, what what are your thoughts on on this on this journey um as you say charity does begin at home and we are the champions for kaizen within industry so it's even better when we are actually adopting and implementing it as an association so what we want to do is to implement improve our own efficiencies so that we can serve our members better we also want to use it as a platform to improve and grow everyone because as you have said kaizen assists people to be able to be better at what they do every day and we spend yeah. a lot of our time at work so if you can have a pr- a program or a platform that enables you to even harness more of your abilities your skills as you do your work it's great it's also great for us to improve teamwork uh, in the midst of covid there's been a lot of change in how we do things so it's yeah. a very opportune time for us to utilize a tool like kaizen uh, to continuously look at how we can improve uh, how we offer our services and how we operate as a team so we are keen to yeah run with this program and uh, benefit from its results and tell the story to our members on how they should also continue to adopt it within their businesses thank you ma'am before i let you go i know you have another uh, meeting scheduled and you have uh, a, a tight day um i just wanted to um, you know it's impossible to either e- end a conversation or a, start a conversation today without reference to this and <laughs> to the elephant in the room covid and so what would be your message to your members uh it has been uh, very disruptive but uh, some message of positivity is something you would like to end with covid-19 has been quite disruptive for 2020 and that is something that we have all seen as businesses and as individuals it has on the other hand also provided opportunities and a platform for us to rethink how we do things and to build more resilient and sustainable businesses so as the association of manufacturers we are continuously supporting our members and are keen to develop with them how they revive their businesses in the midst of this pandemic how they harness and take advantage of new opportunities and also how they implement uh, productivity and other practices like kaizen within their businesses to basically improve and uh, sail through this season so Absolutely. one of our priorities is really sustainability and resilience of the manufacturing sector and covid-19 has tested us in that space and i'm sure that at the end of the day we'll emerge even stronger as manufacturers absolutely ma'am thank you very much i'm going to end with a, a quick reference a pick and build on the word stronger uh, mm-hmm. i was just mentioning to uh, somebody in one of my webinars that uh, uh, you know you need continuous improvement because our problems are also continual in nature there is not yes. a single day when we don't have a problem or a challenge and uh, mm-hmm. corona is not going to be the last virus we can hope that's the last virus but it is not going to be the last virus so if there are uh, if there are you know you cannot put a stop to these viruses they cannot be zero problems or zero viruses but we can develop our immunity to deal with these you know uh, viruses because what we see around us is some people are impacted very sadly and very badly uh and some people uh because of their immunity probably are able to deal with this and come out you know uh, safe across uh the situation 
So the message from the CEO is very clear. Uh, you mm -hmm. can't have zero problems, but we can develop our muscles and our immunity to deal with the challenges. Thank you very much for your precious time, ma'am. It's always Thanks, a Jeff. pleasure. And uh, we will, uh, you know, uh, catch up with you again sometime in another Kaizen Spotlight conversation. Have a uh, Thanks, good day. Thanks, Jan. It, it was a pleasure. Have a good day. Bye. Thank you.